Hi there, I'm Paul with Madcap Software, and we are in the middle of our series on micro content in Madcap Flare, and we are up to promotion proxies. Uh, so I already covered uh, the knowledge proxy in the last video, and now we're on to a different proxy. So as the name suggests, this is a good proxy to use for promotional type of content. And you might be thinking, well, I don't want ads in my documentation. I don't either, but there is uh, there are good reasons to use this particular proxy. And once again, don't get caught up in the name. The name is just a name. It's a container and you can put whatever you want in it. But this is good for promotional content for things like related products to your, your topic content. I use it for that. Or what's new? I use it for that. It could be for marketing events or tips, things of that nature. So, And that's because of the characteristics of this particular proxy. And so what are those characteristics? Well, number one, it's dynamic. Just like the knowledge proxy, just like the uh, knowledge panel and featured snippets, it relies on the search engine. So it's it creates the content, uh, generates all and compiles all of that dynamically, it puts it together in the output when something happens, a search or clicking on a topic. And so this particular proxy, it's a lot like the knowledge proxy, except rather than just relying on the best match, which is what the knowledge proxy, features snippets, knowledge panel all do, it's random. I mean, it's going to look at your, it's going to look at uh, what you told it to, but anything that matches it, it's going to random randomly change in the output. So it's kind of neat. Let's take a look at that. Let's go in to Flare and we'll uh, go through a couple of examples. So we are still talking about topic output. So we're gonna go back to our proxy in here. And you can see I've got my two knowledge proxies. I'm gonna click in the middle of these. So you get that horizontal bar. I'm, I'm just gonna insert a new proxy right in the middle of those. And I'll go to insert proxy and select promotion proxy this time. First question, do I want a title? I could, I'm just gonna leave it out. I'm gonna ignore those other fields for now. Similar filters down here. There's only, uh, I think one difference and that's down in the second filter, you get this all micro, con all micro content option. Otherwise these things are the same. So what do I wanna do here? I have some, you can see on the left, I got this promotions micro content file. And again, this project is about dogs. And I'm thinking, all right, somebody gets to a certain topic. I want them to see some dog rescue information, all right? Maybe they're interested in adopting a dog. And so I am going to select that micro content file where I've got my promotions. And then in the second one, I am going to select all micro content because my purpose in this is I want to show all of the micro content in all of the topics. Uh, I don't I don't care what topic I open. It's not going to be. It's just going to keep things general here. So I'm going to click OK. It inserts my promotion proxy. I'm going to right click my second knowledge proxy that I added for the with those YouTube. Uh, videos, and I'm going to delete that. So I just have these two proxies in here, and I am going to save. And before I build, well, actually, I'll I'll get the output building in here. And while I do that, let me just show you the promotions micro content. There's Beagle Rescue, and so that's just a snippet with a link in there, and you can click to learn more. And then there's Boxer Rescue, and so what it's doing is it's going to look at, at uh, these uh, phrases in here. It's actually just going to look at the whole micro content file and anything is, is game. It's just like, if I had a whole bunch more in here, those would be possibilities as well to display. So our output is done. Let's open it. And now let's just start clicking on some topics in here. And I get my author in here, but I also get this Beagle Rescue thing. Click on History of Dogs, Beagle Rescue, Dog Breeds, Beagle Rescue, 
All right, so far as it doesn't seem too random, but now I get the boss, boxer rescue. And if I stay on a page and it's not just uh, ch changing the topics because I could come back to the same topic at some point and it could, ch it could change and I'm just pressing refresh. And so it's random. It only has two to choose from. So it's random coming up for any topics, doesn't matter which ones. All right, that's one example. Let's do a second example, which is more targeted. So our first example worked. The thing is Beagle and Boxer Rescues, it seems like those should come up just on those pages, not on, you know, you open up Mastiff and why do you want Beagle Rescues? So what we're going to do is the same thing, only we're going to limit it to the right topics. All right, so you're wondering, well, how is how is it targeted and random? <laughs> well, it is, and I will get to that. You're going you're going to see we are we are homing in on just these topics that we want, but we can still have random content in there. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to rely on meta tags in this one, and I want to go to my meta tag set for promotions, which I created in. Uh, in the video series on meta tags. And I just have one meta tag in here and it's named dog rescue. And my values in here, I have two of them, Beagle Rescue and Boxer Rescue. And those match up very nicely with Beagle Rescue and Boxer Rescue in here. So that's what we're going to use to, to limit what topics are, are showing this content. All right, let's go back to our template page, and we're just going to edit this promotion proxy instead of inserting a brand new one. And we still want to point to our promotions uh, micro content file. The difference is now we're going to come down here instead of including every, you know, everything uh, and not making it specific, we're going to choose meta tag value. And in here, I'm going to choose the name of that meta tag, which is dog rescue. So now that's how it's going to make its decision, but not quite done yet. I'm going to click okay, I'm gonna save this. I need to connect those topics with the meta tags if they aren't already. So let's go in here and let's find our topics on beagles and boxers and right click on beagles, go to properties, go to meta tags, there's promotions and it's not selected yet, but I'm going to select Beagle Rescue. And then for boxers, I am going to select Boxer Rescue. All right. And I haven't done it on any of the other topics. Uh, let's go ahead and generate our output once again. So again, it, it's sort of this triangle thing. I've got, because I wanted to use meta tags, I've got my meta tag uh, values and, and from that meta tag set. And if that's connected to my topics and it's kind of both are connected there in the proxy. That's the criteria I am using. Open this up. And now we go to dog breeds. And if I click on Australian shepherds, I only see the author over there, but beagles, I'm gonna see that and beagle rescue. Boxers, I see the author and Boxer Rescue, Bulldogs. I don't see anything because I didn't tell it to put anything in there. All right, so I'm always going to see Beagle Rescue in here. I'm not going to see Boxer. Here, I'm always going to see Boxer Rescue. I'm not going to see Beagle Rescue. So how in the world is that random? Well, in this case, it doesn't appear to be random because I've really limited the options because I only have those two micro content files. But let me show you how this can be random. Let's go back to our Flare project. In our Flare project, I'm gonna to go to my micro content file. And in here, I am going to add some more micro content files, uh, phrases in here. I'm gonna add San Diego Beagle Rescue. And normally I would create something fancy in here, uh, but I am just gonna type text so that we see that it's working. And I'm gonna add another one that says 
Austin, uh, we'll keep it, uh, it doesn't matter, the casing doesn't matter, but <laughs> uh, because the others are, I wanted to make it lowercase. Did I misspell that? Austin Beagle, yeah, I did. So I wanna make sure that's spelled correctly because it's going to rely on that. So Austin Beagle Rescue, Be uh, San Diego Beagle Rescue. Uh, let's type this so we know we've got it. All right, so I've added some more possibilities in here and we'll rebuild the output. So once again, this is dynamic. It's promo it, This is a promotional proxy. It's dynamic. It's relying on the search engine. The search engine is looking at this thing and it's going, all right, I know what the meta tag files uh, are, the, the meta tag values that's Beagle Rescue and it's Boxer Rescue. And now it's looking at this and it's going, what, what are my possibilities? Well, with Boxer Rescue, I'm still only giving it one possibility. So you're always going to see Boxer Rescue. But now I've added these others. And even though it's not exact, it's close enough. I got the words Beagle Rescue in there, even though I got these other cities in there too. I should see this randomized. Let's open this up, go to Dog Breeds, go to Boxers. It's always going to show that. Go to Beagles, San Diego Beagle Rescue. Let's uh, hit refresh, Austin Beagle Rescue, Beagle Rescue. So it's just, you don't know what you're going to get. So it's more targeted, but still randomized. And that is kind of, the, that's the beauty of this promotion proxy. So what you need to do is think of what content you want and what what's the purpose and which proxy fits it. Maybe the promotion proxy is perfect for it. Maybe the knowledge proxy or maybe the next proxy, which we're going to talk about in the next video, which is the FAQ proxy.